out some of the damage there. Uh, people will be having to clean up uh, that pier, that area, and just that um, part of the beach. Like, it's, it's just it's a lot to take in. And we are getting those aerial shots of everything that is happening right now. This is Flagler Beach uh, right now. We have Chopper 2 live above the scene, and you can see, um, you know, sometimes when you take these, <laughs> these aerial shots, we have to remind you that what you're looking at are streets. And, and Central Florida, in general, of course, we have so many lakes. The lakes have just grown over the last few days, We're waiting for, you know, all of the water to recede. And I believe we have Mike Kirby up in Chopper right now, seeing all of this. And uh, Mike is one of our photojournalists here at Western News. He's in the chopper right now. Uh, Mike, you're very familiar with Volusia County. You've worked at West for a long time. You've covered a lot of storms. Just describe for us what you're seeing right now and where it is. Uh, good morning, Sheldon. Uh, it's bad up here. We're up at Flagler Beach, about a mile, I'd say, south of the pier. Uh, flooded neighborhood, really bad. Those are sheriff's deputies. Those are responders down there. And if you look into the water, you can see what appears to be possibly gasoline or something that has spilled into it. Just one of the many hazards that you could find in flood water. Additionally, you might find a what we call a bivouac of uh, fire ants. Whenever there's floods, fire ants can group into like balls, and you get one of those balls of fire ants on you. And it's gonna it's gonna be a bad day for you. It's, flooding is very widespread. If you look, this entire neighborhood is experiencing a mess, just a mess. Water is going into some of the houses. If you're driving down these roads, if you're out, you shouldn't be out on these roads at all, but if you are, take it slow, because uh, you create a wake that goes into people's houses and just increases the damage and makes their life just a little more miserable. From a chopper two, we're looking around, we don't see a lot of wind damage in this area, which is fairly surprising since we're right on the beach. Here, let me give you a look here. Uh, that's our skid, that's, we need that to land, so we're gonna keep that there. Anyway, if you, A1A is in pretty good shape at this section. That's usually a problem when the big storms come. The uh, erosion comes and takes part of the highway away. But uh, it seems to be fairly well intact. Not a lot of wind damage, just a lot of water. And this water, if you look, is coming off the intercoastal waterway. It's brackish. And, and look at this, just the flooding. This one particular street here is experiencing a lot. This uh, looks like another responder vehicle moving in here. But uh, it's... It's bad, it'll go away. These people will rebuild, but just be careful out there in the water. Sheldon? Sonica. Mike, uh, yeah, a quick question for you. You you're, have been up in the chopper flying. Uh, just kind of give us a little bit more of just kind of like the scope of just how far reaching all of this flood water is. Um, are we talking, uh, you know, miles and miles? Like just kind of a little bit of perspective. It's, it's big. It, there's a lot of real estate here covered. If you look, I'd say we're about I'm, we're about a mile south of the pier, and it extends okay. probably another mile, mile and a half to the south, and it, it's moved away from the river. That's the intercoastal waterway right over there. It's moved away from that a quarter mile, maybe more. It's uh, that is two blocks from the ocean, so you could do the math from that. Uh, if you're just joining it's, us, it's, it's 9 o'clock. Oh, I'm sorry, Kirby. I don't mean to cut you off. I, I do just want to oh, no get problem, our uh, viewers <laughs> get our viewers up to speed here. It is 9 o'clock. We've got Kirby, our beloved photojournalist, up in the chopper right now. And Kirby, I, I know you've been on the ground. You've been on the ground not only over the last 48 hours. You've been on the ground for multiple uh, hurricanes in the past. You were there on the ground for Michael when it slammed into the Florida's panhandle. Can you shed some light on how seeing the damage from above compares to seeing the damage that you were driving through yesterday and the day before? Well, this damage up here is not so bad. Like I said earlier, it's mostly flooding that's causing the problem in Flagler Beach area. Wind damage seems to be fairly minimal, and in fact, we don't see a lot of it up here. Other, uh, other areas, such as Fort Myers, the wind can be devastating. It is not so much the wind itself, it's the stuff that's being carried in the wind that can tear things up. Uh, in fact, one of, my, one of my lovely little live trucks that I have has a nice dent in it from uh, a tree branch it took during Hurricane Michael up at Panama City, which that area got completely devastated. How there's somebody this? out there in the water right now. That's, uh, there's somebody paddle boarding. That's a good way to get around, I guess, in a flooded community like this. But uh, I really wouldn't advise being out. If you can stay indoors on days like they, it's, it's best just to stay indoors. Unless you're not flooded, the weather's going to be gorgeous and you can clean up. And it's a good day for surfers. Growing up in Volusia County, I was uh, a practitioner of that hobby for a while. Look at those waves. But yeah, it's uh, the flooding up here in Flagler. 
it's it's pretty substantial. I have never seen any flooding like this in Flagler in my years of being living in this area. Was Flagler Beach your, your first stop here, Kirby? What's the plan for it today? Where else are you guys checking out? Yes, ma'am. Uh, first stop is Flagler Beach. We're going to head south from here. We picked up, we took out a full bag of fuel in Leesburg. Leesburg Airport was open. So uh, we got a good tank of gas. And with pilot Dan, he's, a, he's the man. Dan's the man. And we're going to head south from here into the Daytona Beach area and then uh, look around and then probably head back over to the, the Greater Orlando area later this afternoon.